Hello everyone and welcome to the how to play as Corruptor video. Today I will give you a few tips on how to play as Corruptor. So be sure to keep watching and also if you like this video be sure to leave a like because that's going to help me out a lot. To start things off, the Corruptor is a solo killer with an aura unknown and it can appear as random killing role aka the RKR. The Corruptor is like a serial killer but with two interesting differences. The first being that its selected target will not die at night but at the end of the next day and the other being that, that nobody can see what he actually was. This last point also comes with different interesting things to think about. My first tip is as with any other solo role. Read the game well and always be prepared to claim a role that hasn't been confirmed yet. An aura simulation can be a really good strategy for corruptors since you can corrupt the person you mean to check and that person cannot say his real aura. Also the other informers can never check whether your information is true or not since your checked targets die and don't show their roles so nobody except for the medium can actually validate whether your information is real or not. But if you don't decide to do an aura simulation, you can always stay silent or act like a villager by participating in the investigations. Just make sure to claim a role before all roles are taken and then you cannot be convincing anymore. Second comes that you have to pay attention to the postponed death of the targets. Usually a target dies at the end of the night, but since they do now survive throughout the whole day, the village is probably trying to save the corrupted player. This can be done by killing the corrupter indeed. If an important villager is corrupted, the village will do anything to kill you so that the target doesn't turn into a victim. Sometimes it's better to kill less important villagers so that the village is more focused on finding werewolves instead of killing you. Third thing is that you have to pay attention to who you are actually corrupting. In the beginning you shouldn't risk corrupting a werewolf for example. You should probably start with corrupting a potential scapegoat. If you were to play with several random regular villagers make sure to claim that role yourself and corrupt one of the actual ones, preferably one of the claims that were able to confirm themselves. But be aware, you will always need other suspicious players alive, actual scapegoats. They have to get attention and not you. They have to be lynched or mistrusted at least by the village and not you. This means that mid and late game you will need to start corrupting more important villagers and potentially werewolves. Fourth thing is that you should always keep the balance. If the werewolf get too powerful in the end they will lynch you or they will launch their junior and in order to kill you. Try to keep the fool alive for a while as well. You can even corrupt the actual fool and raise tension by saying that the fool might be alive. Watch out though. If you stress this too much the village will suspect you. Something else that might be interesting is to corrupt one or two werewolves at some point. Which might make the village think that these are still alive. And that means that they think there are still four or three werewolves in the game. They will probably focus on killing the werewolves instead of you. And they might even ask to collaborate with you since they think that they really need you in order to get rid of the werewolves. And this is of course a really good position for you. Last but not least, sometimes the village is checking who got corrupted by asking everyone to say something. You can of course abuse this, but only when you think you will die. Just stay silent for the whole day and don't send roses or use emojis or anything, don't vote either. The village might think you are corrupted, so they will probably not lynch you for that day. This strategy can work a few times, but not every day since you know, they think you are corrupted but then you should also die and if you actually don't die then something is a bit weird so they will come to know that at some point. Well that was it for today, I hope these 5 hints will help you out when playing Corruptor. If so be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel because that helps me and my channel quite a lot and if you want to chat with me join the Hyperhood Discord server, a link is in the description but for now. I will see you later and don't be a traitor, goodbye.